Well, Todd County Soil and Water is celebrating natural resources by giving students hands-on learning experience. Sarah Winkleman has this week's Golden Apple. Bees, hay bales, bubbles, and a whole lot of smiles could be spotted all over the Caterhagen farm today as nearly 500 students learned about natural resources. Over the years, we've got to be flirting with between 9 and 10,000 kids that cross the farm. For the past 23 years, the Todd County Soil and Water EnviroFest has been held at the Caterhagen farm. And if we've got the space and the resources to do it, we're glad to host any kid. Along the 24 stations at the farm, one of them included a stop where students were able to learn about the science behind bubbles. We can, you know, read textbooks all day long or pamphlets or whatever, you know, in your classroom. But to actually be out here in this environment with the hands-on activities is amazing. All schools in Todd County were in attendance, including private schools and homeschool groups. The last two years we have dramatically expanded. Actually, we've doubled in size. So that's been a bit of a challenge, but it's been exciting for everyone, I think, to have new stations, new presenters, and have the farm fill up with a bunch more kids. During the activities, Julie thinks the kids are absorbing more information than they realize simply by having fun. Then we go back to school and we talk about, you know, the next day about what everything we've gone through and that how much they've learned. Knowing the importance of exposing the students to new experiences, even just by being out on the farm. We're losing that whole generation of kids that know something about the environment or at least living on the land. Something that the EnviroFest hopes will impact the students to maintain Minnesota's natural resources. To get them to realize how they fit into the bigger picture and what they can do to help protect our natural resources. Even after 23 years, the Cutterhagans still get excited to teach the kids about the farm and host nearly 600 people for the annual event. For this week's Golden Apple, reporting in Browerville, Sarah Winkleman, Lakeland News. If you've enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland Public Television.